So let's balance this equation. We have ammonium phosphate and sodium sulfate. This is a double displacement reaction. So we're going to do two things. One, we'll use a trick to make the balancing a lot easier. And then we'll talk about whether this reaction even takes place. So let's first balance the equation. I can see that I have the ammonium ion here and here. So on both sides, I'm just going to count it as one thing. When I do that, it gets really easy to balance. I have three ammonium ions in the reactants and two ammonium ions in the products. For the phosphate here, I have it here and here. So I have one phosphate on each side. Sodium, I have two sodiums here. And then over here, I have the three sodiums. And then for the sulfate, I have a sulfate here and here. So I have one sulfate on each side of the equation. So you see these coefficients, they're a lot easier to work with. You'll get the same answer either way. This is just a lot faster. So when we look at this, probably best to get this to be an even number here. If I put a two as my coefficient, three times two, that would give me six, and then one times two, that would give me two. But now I have an even number here, and to fix that, I could just put a three right here in front of the ammonium sulfate. Two times three, that gives me six. So that's balanced. And then I have the one sulfate times the three. Why don't we fix the phosphates next? If we put a two in front of the sodium phosphate, we have the one phosphate times two, so those are balanced three times two for the sodiums. So that gives us six sodium atoms. Really looks like all we can do is put a three here in front of the sodium sulfate. Two times three, that gives us six. Those are balanced. And then the one sulfate here times three, that gives us three of those. We're done. This equation is balanced. But if we wrote the states, this is what we'd get. Compounds with the ammonium ion, they're very soluble. Compounds with the sodium ion, they're very soluble. So everything's soluble, everything's dissolved. So we start out with these ions here, all dissolved in water. We end up with the very same ions. They're still all dissolved in water, they're all separate. So we have no change. So really here, because everything's aqueous, no reaction takes place. So this is the balanced equation, but really this reaction doesn't happen. <laughs> this is Dr. B with the balanced equation for ammonium phosphate plus sodium sulfate. Thanks for watching.